Kevin Owen McCarthy born January 26, 1965, is an American politician serving as the House Majority Leader since 2014 and U.S. Representative for California's 23rd Congressional District since 2007. The 23rd District, numbered as the 22nd District from 2007 to 2013, is based in Bakersfield and includes large sections of Kern County and Tulare County as well as part of the Quartz Hill neighborhood in northwest Los Angeles County. A member of the Republican Party, he was formerly chairman of the California Young Republicans and the Young Republican National Federation. McCarthy worked as district director for U.S. Representative Bill Thomas, and in 2000 was elected as a trustee to the Kern Community College District. He then served in the California State Assembly from 2002 to 2006, the last two years as minority leader. When Thomas retired from the U.S. House in 2006, McCarthy ran to succeed him and won the election. McCarthy was elected to House leadership as the Republican Chief Deputy Whip, from 2009 to 2011, and House Majority Whip, from 2011 until August 2014, when he was elected House Majority Leader to replace the outgoing Eric Cantor, who was defeated in his primary election. After announcing his candidacy for Speaker on September 28, 2015, he dropped out of the race on October 8. The Republicans lost their majority at the 2018 midterm elections, and McCarthy was elected as House Minority Leader, making him the first California Republican to hold the post. Topic: <laughs> Early life and education. McCarthy was born in Bakersfield, California, the son of Roberta Darling November 16, 1940, a homemaker, and Owen McCarthy June 12, 1941, an assistant city fire chief. McCarthy is a fourth-generation resident of Kern County. He is the first Republican in his immediate family, as his parents were members of the Democratic Party. He attended California State University, Bakersfield, where he obtained a B.S. in marketing in 1989 and an M.B.A. in 1994. Early political career In 1995, he was chairman of the California Young Republicans. From 1999 to 2001, he was chairman of the Young Republican National Federation. From the late 1990s until 2000, he was district director for U.S. Representative Bill Thomas, who, at the time, chaired the House Ways and Means Committee. McCarthy won his first election in 2000. As a Kern Community College District trustee, McCarthy was elected to the California State Assembly in 2002, becoming Republican floor leader during his freshman term in 2003. He was elected to the United States House of Representatives in 2006 equals equals US House of Representatives equals equals topic elections topic 2006 McCarthy entered the Republican primary for California's 22nd district after his former boss Bill Thomas announced his retirement he won the three-way Republican primary—the real contest in this heavily Republican district—with 85% of the vote. He then won the general election with 70.7% .7 of the vote. 2008 McCarthy was unopposed for a second term. Topic. 2010 No party put up a candidate, and McCarthy won a third term with 98.8% of the vote, with opposition coming only from a write-in candidate. 2012 Redistricting before the 2012 election resulted in McCarthy's district being renumbered as the 23rd district. It became somewhat more compact, losing its share of the Central Coast while picking up large parts of Tulare County. This district was as heavily Republican as its predecessor, and McCarthy won a fourth term with 73.2% of the vote versus 26.8% for independent, no party preference (NPP) opponent Terry Phillips. 
2014 In his bid for a fifth term, McCarthy faced a Democratic challenger for the first time since his initial run for the seat, Raul Garcia. However, McCarthy was re-elected with 74.8% of the vote. 2016 McCarthy won re-election to a sixth term in 2016 with 69.2% .2 of the vote in the general election. The opposing candidate, Wendy Reed, Democratic Party candidate, received 30.8% of the vote. Topic 2018. McCarthy was re-elected to a seventh term with 64.3% of the vote, with Democratic challenger Tatiana Mata receiving 35.7% of the vote. After the Republicans lost their majority in the 2018 elections, McCarthy was elected as House Minority Leader, fending off a challenge to his right from Jim Jordan of Ohio, 159-43. While as House Majority Leader he was second in command to the Speaker, as Minority Leader he will be the leader of the House Republicans. 2014. Tenure Committee assignments Committee on Financial Services Subcommittee on Capital Markets, Insurance, and Government-Sponsored Enterprises Subcommittee on Financial Institutions and Consumer Credit Caucus memberships Congressional Western Caucus Party leadership House Republican Steering Committee House Republican Chief Deputy Whip, 2009–2011 House Majority Whip, 2011–2014 House Majority Leader, 2014 present as a freshman congressman, McCarthy was appointed to the Republican Steering Committee. Republican Leader John Boehner appointed him Chairman of the Republican Platform Committee during the committee's meetings in Minneapolis in August 2008, which produced the Republican Party Platform for 2008. He was also one of the three founding members of the GOP Young Guns program. After the 2008 elections, he was chosen as Chief Deputy Minority Whip, the highest ranking appointed position in the House Republican Conference. His predecessor, Eric Cantor, was named Minority Whip. On November 17, 2010, he was selected by the House Republican Conference to be the House Majority Whip in the 112th Congress. In this post, he was the third-ranking House Republican, behind House Speaker John Boehner and Majority Leader Eric Cantor. In August 2011, McCarthy and Cantor led a group of 30 Republican members of Congress to Israel, where some members several after drinking took part in a late-night swim in the Sea of Galilee, including one member, Representative Kevin Yoder of Kansas who swam nude. When McCarthy and Cantor later found out about the swim, they were furious and worried about negative news coverage, and called a members only meeting the next morning to reprimand the group, both those who swam and those who abstained. In 2012, McCarthy's office reported spending $99,000 on pastries, bottled water, and other food items, making him the highest spending member of the House in this category. Cantor lost the June 2014 primary for his seat in Congress, and announced he would step down from House leadership at the end of July. McCarthy sought to succeed Cantor, and after some speculation that Representatives Pete Sessions and Jeb Hensarling would challenge him, both dropped out, leaving a clear path for McCarthy to become House Majority Leader. On June 13, Representative Raul Labrador announced he would also seek the leadership position. On June 19, the Republican caucus elected McCarthy as majority leader. According to the University of Minnesota's Humphrey School of Public Affairs, McCarthy is the least tenured majority leader in the history of the House of Representatives. 
When he assumed the majority leadership position in July 2014, he had served only seven years, six months, and 29 days, the least experience of any floor leader in the House's history by more than a year. McCarthy kept four of his predecessor's staff members on his staff when he took over as majority leader, including Deputy Chief of Staff Neil Bradley, who now has served in that role for three majority leaders. McCarthy has been under fire for avoiding meetings and town hall events with constituents in his congressional district for years. His last town hall was in June 2010. He has opted for screened telephone calls since, in December 2017, McCarthy voted in favor of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. After the vote, McCarthy asked his constituents to come February, check your check, because that will be the pay raise of the vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> Speaker of the House candidacy and withdrawal on September 25, 2015, John Boehner announced his intention to resign as Speaker effective October 30, 2015. Many media outlets speculated that McCarthy would likely replace him, and Boehner himself stated that McCarthy would make an excellent Speaker. He was the presumptive successor to the outgoing Speaker. On Monday, September 28, McCarthy formally announced his candidacy. Having held congressional office for less than nine years, McCarthy would have been the Speaker with the least time in Congress since 1891. On October 8, 2015, as Republicans were preparing to vote, McCarthy unexpectedly dropped out of the race, saying that Republicans needed a fresh face who could unite the caucus and, I am not that guy. He added that he would remain on as majority leader. He reportedly had concluded that he did not have the 218 votes that would be required to be elected Speaker. Previously, Rep. Walter B. Jones Jr. had sent a letter to the Republican Conference Chairwoman Kathy McMorris Rogers stating that any candidates for a leadership position with «misdeeds» should withdraw from the race. Jones has stated that his comment did not specifically refer to McCarthy. It was widely seen as referring to rumors that McCarthy had been committing an extramarital affair with fellow representative, Renee Elmers, a rumor that both have denied. The basis for such an allegation and interpretation is unclear. <laughs> Comments on House Select Committee on Benghazi In a September 29, 2015 interview with Fox News's Sean Hannity, McCarthy was asked what the Republicans had accomplished in Congress. He replied by talking about the House of Representatives' special panel investigation into the incident when Islamic militants attacked the American diplomatic compound in Benghazi in 2012. Republicans said the purpose of the government-funded committee was purely to investigate the deaths of four Americans. But McCarthy said. Everybody thought Hillary Clinton was unbeatable, right? But we put together a Benghazi special committee, a select committee. What are her numbers today? Her numbers are dropping. Why? Because she's untrustable. But no one would have known any of that had happened, had we not fought." Many media outlets and Democratic lawmakers interpreted this comment as an admission that the investigation was a partisan political undertaking rather than a substantive inquiry. Some commentators described his remark as a classic, Kinsley gaffe, defined as when a politician accidentally tells the truth. Several days later, McCarthy followed up on his comments and said that Benghazi is not political. It was created for one purpose and one purpose only to find the truth on behalf of the families of four dead Americans. The integrity of Chairman Gowdy, the committee, and the work they've accomplished is beyond reproach. The serious questions Secretary Clinton faces are due entirely to her own decision to put classified information at risk and endanger our national security. I've been very clear about this. And don't use politics to try to change this around. I could have been more clear in my description of what was going forward. <laughs> Comments on Trump and Putin On June 15, 2016, McCarthy told a group of Republicans, "'There's two people I think Putin pays, Rohrbacher and Trump. Swear to God.'" Paul Ryan reminded colleagues the meeting was off the record, saying, "'No leaks. This is how we know we're a real family here.'" When asked about the comment, McCarthy's spokesman said that, "'The idea that McCarthy would assert this is absurd and false.'" After a tape of the comment was made public in May 2017, McCarthy claimed it was a bad attempt at a joke.
Topic: Political positions. Topic: Abortion. In 2003, while minority leader in the state assembly, McCarthy support ed most abortion rights, but oppose d spending tax dollars on abortions. By 2015, however, McCarthy was a staunch anti-abortion rights advocate. McCarthy is a supporter of the Hyde Amendment a provision, annually renewed by Congress since 1976, that bans federal funds for abortion, and in 2011 co-sponsored a bill, the No Taxpayer Funding for Abortion Act, to make the Hyde Amendment permanent. This bill was especially controversial because it provided an exemption for funding terminations of pregnancies caused by only forcible rape", which prompted abortion rights activists to call the bill a redefinition of rape. McCarthy opposes a California state law that requires health insurance plans to treat abortion coverage and maternity coverage neutrally and provide both, believing that this law violates the Weldon Amendment and other federal laws. McCarthy received a 100% rating from the National Right to Life Committee, and a 0% rating from NARAL Pro Choice America. McCarthy has voted to strip about $500 million in federal funding for Planned Parenthood. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump McCarthy was an early supporter of Trump in the 2016 Republican presidential primaries, saying that Trump's intensity could help the Republicans win House seats. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Environment. McCarthy is as of 2015 frequently at odds with environmental groups. The League of Conservation Voters has given him a lifetime score of 3%. McCarthy does not accept the scientific consensus on climate change. He was a major opponent of President Obama's clean power plan to reduce emissions of greenhouse gas from coal-fired power plants. He has opposed regulations on methane leaks from fossil fuel drilling facilities, characterizing them as "...bureaucratic and unnecessary." In 2015, McCarthy opposed the U.S.'s involvement in global efforts to combat climate change. As the 2015 United Nations Climate Change Conference began, McCarthy announced that he would oppose an international agreement on climate change. In 2017, McCarthy led House Republican efforts to use the Congressional Review Act to undo a number of environmental regulations enacted during the Obama administration. While McCarthy once supported the Federal Wind Energy Production Tax Credit, he opposed its extension in 2014. In 2011, McCarthy was the primary author of the Wilderness and Roadless Area Release Act, H.R. 1581, legislation that would strip 60 million acres of public lands of protected status. Under the legislation, protections for roadless and wilderness study areas would be eliminated, and vast swaths of land opened to new industrial development such as logging, mineral extraction, and fossil fuel extraction. The bill was strongly criticized by conservationist groups and by former Secretary of the Interior Bruce Babbitt, who called it, "...the most radical, overreaching attempt to dismantle the architecture of our public land laws," that he had seen in his lifetime. Finance In 2014, McCarthy opposed the renewal of the charter of the Export-Import Bank of the United States, as he expects the private sector to take over the role. George Soros On October 23, 2018, McCarthy tweeted that businessman George Soros, businessman Tom Steyer and former New York Mayor Mike Bloomberg, all of whom are Jewish, were trying to buy the upcoming election. McCarthy tweeted this a day after a pipe bomb was delivered to Soros' home. Steyer said McCarthy's tweet was a «straight-up anti-Semitic move». <laughs> Health care As House Majority Leader, McCarthy led efforts to repeal the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act In March 2017, the House Republican repeal legislation, the American Health Care Act, was pulled from the floor minutes before a scheduled vote. 
Following changes made during an internal Republican debate, the bill narrowly passed the House, 217–213, in a May 2017 party-line vote. The House Republican leadership's decision to hold a vote on the legislation before receiving a budget impact analysis from the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office was controversial. The CBO subsequently issued a report estimating that the bill would cause 23 million Americans to lose health coverage, and would reduce the deficit by $119 billion over 10 years. McCarthy and other House Republican leaders defended the legislation. Hate crimes McCarthy opposed the Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Jr. Hate Crimes Prevention Act of 2009, which added perceived gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, and disabilities as protected classes under existing federal hate crimes law. He has voted against the Local Law Enforcement Hate Crimes Prevention Act of 2007. Immigration Throughout 2018, McCarthy opposed efforts to codify the legal status of DREAMers after Trump suspended Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals which provided temporary stay for undocumented immigrants brought to the United States as minors. McCarthy opposed efforts to codify the DACA protection because he thought it would depress turnout among the Republican base in the upcoming 2018 midterms elections. According to Politico, a DACA-type bill would also undermine McCarthy's chances of becoming House Speaker after Paul Ryan retires from Congress, as it would make it harder for McCarthy to attract the support of hardline conservatives. In July 2018, House Democrats called for a floor vote that sought to abolish U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement (ICE). House GOP leaders scrapped the latter and called for the House to vote on a resolution authored by McCarthy and Clay Higgins to support ICE. House Speaker Paul Ryan's spokeswoman said Democrats, "...will now have the chance to stand with the majority of Americans who support ICE and vote for this resolution," or otherwise follow extreme voices on the far left calling for abolishment of an agency that protects us. <laughs> <laughs> LGBT rights McCarthy was a supporter of the Defense of Marriage Act which barred federal recognition of same-sex marriage and banned same-sex couples from receiving federal spousal benefits, after President Barack Obama instructed the Justice Department not to defend the law in court, McCarthy supported House Republicans' legal defense of the law. When the DOMA case reached the Supreme Court in 2013, McCarthy joined Boehner and Eric Cantor in signing a brief urging the court to uphold the law. Cannabis McCarthy has a D rating from Normal regarding his voting record on cannabis related matters. He voted against allowing veterans access to medical marijuana, if legal in their state, per their Veterans Health Administration doctor's recommendation. Other issues In August 2018, McCarthy co-signed a letter spearheaded by John Garamendi, Jared Huffman and Mike Thompson, calling for Trump to "...send more federal aid to fight..." the wildfires across the state of California. The letter, in effect requests a "...major disaster declaration..." across several counties affected by the fires, such a designation would "...free up more federal relief." Aimed at local governments and individuals affected, McCarthy introduced the Forward Act in 2018, which would provide $95 million in research funding for valley fever and other fungal diseases. The bill provides $5 million for a blockchain pilot program, facilitating sharing data between doctors and scientists researching such diseases. It would also fund $8 million in matching grant money to be awarded every year for five years to local groups applying for research grants, as well as $10 million each year for five years to CARB-X, a U.S. Department of Health and Human Services public-private partnership. <laughs> Social media censorship McCarthy is confident that social media platforms, such as Twitter, are actively censoring conservative politicians and their supporters. 
He called on Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey to testify before Congress on the matter. On August 17, 2018, McCarthy submitted a tweet to suggest that conservatives were being censored by showing a screen capture of conservative commentator Laura Ingram's Twitter account with a sensitive content warning on one of her tweets. This warning was due to McCarthy's own Twitter settings rather than any censorship from the platform. He refused to acknowledge this fact. McCarthy also suggested that Google was biased against Republicans due to some of its short-lived vandalism of the English Wikipedia entry on the California Republican Party that was automatically indexed in the search results. Personal life McCarthy and his wife Judy have two children. They are lifelong residents of Bakersfield. He is a former board member for the Community Action Partnership of Kern. <laughs> <laughs> Career 